Hella dope again. Hella dope. Hella dope every time. Hella dope for life, yo. For the second. Bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! Welcome to Everyone Racers. This is a show designed for the world of low dollar racing and oddball car culture. It doesn't matter what kind of limit champ or lucky track dog league you run. SCCA or NASA, we won't discriminate. As long as you drive it hard and build it yourself. Join us each week for tech discussions, tips, tricks, as well as news and notes from the world of amateur endurance racing. And whether it's on the spot, hella sweet, or we're lucky enough, Chrissy, and Chrissy, I give you just the tip. We're sure you'll giggle a little and learn even less. Everyone report to the paddock. This is Chris. This is Chrissy. And I'm mental. And we're everyone racers. Again, this is a welcome to a Skymaster episode of our podcast. This is episode 336. And the Cessna Skymaster is an all American twin engine civil utility aircraft built in a push pull configuration. And the first version of the Skymaster 336 went into production in May of 19. 19- 63. Its engines were mounted uh, in the nose and the rear of the pod style fuselage. Twin booms extended aft the wings uh, to the vertical stabilizers with the ring w- with the rear engine between them. The horizontal stabilizer is is aft to the pusher propeller mounted between the co- connecting of between and connecting the two booms. The combined tractor and pusher engines produce centerline thrust and a unique sound. If you're not thrusting and making a unique sound or flying a Cessna Skymaster, uh, make up a bingo card in your head and tell us what's on it. Because we still <laughs> don't have a new bingo card. As much as I have said for the last three months, I should make up a bingo card. We have not made a bingo card. We just Maybe haven't. Something. No one sent us bingo. You know, really, it's just bingo for us anyway. Sure. You know, the army used those as forward air observers and they used to call them mix masters because of the, the dual propeller thing. I had forgotten. Mix master sounds little, funner. Fun little machines. Yeah. Great. Yep. Mental. We haven't seen you in a while. Uh, also, I haven't thank, seen you guys in a while. How thank you to all doing? of our listeners. I'm very, we're very sorry that we missed two weeks in a row. Uh, life sometimes gets in the way. So we just had to call audibles on that one. Well, so yep. what were you working on? So we've been around. We just haven't been able to figure out a night that worked for uh for our event, uh for our um show. Uh I've had a library event this week. I had a lot ton and ton of library stuff, had a bunch of work stuff that's kind of taken over some of my life. Last week was library week on our normal um show t- um uh, show night uh work and so we got some we got some new friends since we've seen you. Uh, we have two lovely sisters. They are eight, almost nine months old, I think, at this point. Uh, one of them, if you're watching on this podcast. So if you are not, if you're listening to this podcast, it's going to be a visual, helpful episode. Also, you, you if you're to... listening to this podcast, these aren't children. No. Correct. <laughs> yeah, they're correct. Yeah, they uh, didn't yes, just we go just... <laughs> grab a couple of nine-month-old sisters. Uh, no, uh, they're cats. Thank you for that. They're fuzzy. Uh, they are not human. They're cats. There is one of them uh, that the gray and white one is Checo, and then black and white one is Senna. I don't know where she is right now. Of course, they're race car driver names. Uh, they are girls. We tried. We knew that Senna was going to be one of them when we when we got them. We just had to figure out which one was which. Uh, Chris is now. Oh, holding look at Senna. that. Yeah, Senna came upstairs. Uh, and Checo is sitting down here. Uh, they're both lovely. They're kittens. Uh, there's, we keep kissing hashtag kit, kitten life, uh, because they sprint around the house. They bring us toys in the middle of the night. The one night we're laying in bed and all of a sudden one jumps from the my side of the bed, the far side of me all the way over me onto Chris to attack his legs. So, uh, it's a lot. They're a lot. And I absolutely said, Oh, look at the kittens. They're so cute kittens. And I was looking at like the, you know, couple week old kittens uh, and joking about getting them. And they look so cute then. And thank goodness they didn't get tiny, tiny ones uh, because these are a handful and they're nine months old or eight, eight, nine months old. 
they said that they may not be sisters. They're totally sisters. They do the same things. They run around. We we joke around the house and we say when there's one, there's two. Uh, because when they have FOMO, when one does something, the other one is right behind her. So uh, they are filling our hearts and love with love and all of the uh, sadness we are missing from losing our previous cat. It's doubled. We just have two now. That's awesome. That's great. So I, they, they came from the same litter or like at least group of kittens at the shelter? Well, we don't really know. They were strays that they had picked up somehow, but they are not just, they were clearly not feral cats. They are very good with people and being handled and like people and things. So litter boxes, they have, they're well yeah. trained. They're well trained. Yeah. They're kittens, so, so, but they're Who knows trained. how they ended up out well, the, available they, they, to be Obviously cat they bonded caught, but... if they've got FOMO and they like want oh, to be in the absolutely. same place. Oh, so well, they were good the on same you cage. guys for not splitting them up. You know, if they're not like blood sisters, they're certainly spiritually sisters. They were in the same cage when at the at the rescue league and certainly very friendly. And they see. certainly that's, oh, what, oh, that's what there's a I'm holding up a picture of them. Yeah, they're both in the same uh bed in our front window. Chris took that today um at uh, at while he was at work here. So yes, so they're definitely uh two peas in a pod. They're they're super fun and uh yeah, it's fun having them around. Cool. Yep. Okay. Mental, what have you been up to? Well, so also had work stuff. We did our second major exercise, and that was part of the contribution of us not being able to to have, you know, get it together and, and record shows for two weeks. That has now ended. I've spent, uh, and actually during that time, because I work like a split shift, I go in in the early afternoon, and then I come back. Well, and I was doing it for a little while. Then I also have, I inherited some other duties. And then was there until like midnight or one in the morning sometimes. So I'd get it in the morning and I would get a bunch of Porsche work done. So I've been working on the Porsche. I uh, just recently got Miata stuff. I had two awesome Facebook scores. So I found a set of Bilsteins, which came on the uh, club version of the ND Miata. And they're a little bit more responsive uh, as opposed to the grand touring shocks and they ha were already wrapped with a set of fly miata spring so now uh after yesterday and today my miata sits 1.5 inches lower i also managed to score a goodwin racing um they call it their roadster exhaust so it's got a little bit of a nice throaty snarl to it under load but the design of it when you're sitting in traffic, you don't look like a kid with an automatic Honda and a fart can melon baller. So it sounds quite fine at idle and it only gets snarky when you're on it. So I just wrapped, took it around the block and had a great time with that one. Uh, so excellent. Uh, and I, I, I figured out kind of the hard way that my Miata is lower now. Cause as I went to lower it off the Jack, the Jack jammed up under the car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, low car lower. life. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, oh, car life. And I was using the old, the old trick where you take the two by four, put it under the mirror of the Miata and you can get up both sides on there. But, uh, so I pinched one of my uh, little side moldings that, and, and it snapped and I had to fix that and feel stupid while I did it. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go to Harbor Freight and get a low profile Jack. Now, uh, the, uh, the old or craftsman just... was getting long in the tooth anyway. And it weighs like it weighs more than the damn car. So when I drag it out, it makes a racket. I also managed to sneak away from here and go down to Laughlin, Nevada, which is about 90 minutes down the road, meet up with everyone that had just started on the Route 66 rally, got to hang out That's with Jeff. That's fun. Yeah, absolutely. Got to hang out with Jeff Stobbs, Judge Tom and Jan. They brought their kids. They had this hella sweet celebrity wagon that the only problem with it was clear coat, but that thing was mint. Uh, there was the uh, uh, Latino garage and a 66 Mustang fastback. It was super gorgeous. Steph and her buddy Charles had come up and rented a, a BMW and then like, you know, carefully, but, you know, responsibly decorated it lemon style. Uh, there were all kinds, you know, a lot of the lemons regulars. I miss the XC90 kids. I love those guys. They're actually from Oklahoma and have seen them on, they were up in Alaska. Just a great crew all the way around and got to hang out with them. That was super ton of fun. Uh, we sat in the, uh, like off the parking area of the world's, you know, probably like 
well, they were calling it the world's saddest casino <laughs> in Laughlin. And we, uh, we all went through a, a, a lovely case of Modelo. And then I, I drove home. That was a good time there. And I just returned from the driven garage. You might know it as alloy motors on Instagram. They are undergoing a, uh, a, a like a whole marketing rebrand thing thing, but it's judge Gates, Jeff Gates, super tall guy out here that runs West coast. He had a ton of fun. He was judging the Thunder Hill race where we had to swap out the LS in Antlers Matt's Firebird. So me, him, and Tim, and he was over there helping because he's that kind of a guy. And he uh, messages all of us and he goes, man, I like judging, but I miss this. I miss racing. I've got this old uh, Lemons car that had been around for a while. And I would let my team has moved or retired or just doesn't do it anymore. What's it take to get into, sorry for party racing. And of course, all it takes is a pair of, uh, you know, neon zebra camo and you are ready to go. So he, we, uh, we went down there and we spent the weekend working in his shop and it will spoil you working in a pro shop. His, his yeah, band totally. saw that we were using to cut metal is cost more than every tool in my garage. <laughs> it was, but, uh, we, uh, we, we got the the engine out. We got it all shaken loose. We we've got a list of things to do, and then we we had one concept that evolved as art so often does into a new concept, which I think is going to be a frigging huge hit with everybody. And uh, just hanging out with uh, Judge Jeff Jeff Gates. He's one of those you know you meet people in Lemons and they're really interesting, and then you get to know them better, and they become like there's depth to them that you didn't know hanging out with him at his place. He's also a rescue animal kind of person. So he had a couple of rescue uh, dogs that uh, were hanging out and uh, yeah, he got a cool house and a cool neighborhood over in Oakland and his shop is awesome. And the stuff that he is building, you will never see in a lemons paddock because it's all this super high end, uh, unbelievable attention to detail kind of stuff. So uh, what a great time. So, and we're, you're, we're working on lemony stuff coming soon to a West coast track near you. Uh, Chris, I see you have also been getting your hands dirty and greasy. Uh, I just got done. I got to go back out there and work on stuff lately, but I want to show you some mental. You need a new Jack. I, I do tell you, this is the Jack that you want. This is what I have and I love it. It's the AC hydraulic. Okay, so, ooh, ooh. Oh, AC, that's AC the AC cool one with the, the, like, and not just the twisty handle, but it's actually got like a curve. Yeah. And it's a safety release. This thing, it's, it's made in Denmark. It is inc been incredibly reliable, incredibly useful. They make really high reach version ones too. They've got heavy duty ones. Ooh. I cannot say enough about how much I like the one that I have. Hashtag that should it. totally sponsor us. Yeah. I've had it for more than 20 years and I've done absolutely nothing to it. And that thing is a champ. So it's one of those buy once, it's, cry it's once. Yeah, it's pretty. And it's also pretty heavy. Like just yeah, it, it heavy is very in sturdy. life. Yes. Well, and I, I can't complain. My craftsman was a, it was a, a special um, that Vicky bought me 20 <laughs> years ago. So replacing yeah. it's probably not like the worst. No, no, I've, I've, I've gotten my money's worth out of it, but now that you yeah. have ultra low riders, you probably should find something. Yeah, this thing to is a it up with. high end, nice jack that you will every you, every time you use it, you'll say, "Oh, this is really good." Got it. All right, I'll, yeah. I'll we'll, uh, we'll get the link to that in the show notes. AC hydraulics, right? Okay. Um, I, we, I've been working on stuff. We've had time. I've been working on the MG mostly, and mostly it's been that that car. Everything about it is fiddly custom time consuming work <laughs> everything about it like i've been doing carpeting and stuff you know but when you do carpeting uh like redoing the trunk carpeting it's all custom it's all did none of it fits right it was Getting all done by tire. a guy named phil but uh, some some 70 right. years ago exactly and they're all named nigel i think <laughs> that was it <laughs> Yeah, but just like you know, attaching the like, there's no provision to attach the spare tire cover in the back, so I'm having to make stuff up and create things, and nothing fits right, and like it just every, like finding lots of sins of previous owners. Some of them were me, but like you know, <laughs> wires that are just twisted together with some tape over them. 
uh, like all over the place. Things are not connected right. Things are just connect disconnected at all. You know, like the heater blower motor that I used to, you know, on my way to school as a 16 year old in the morning, I'd kind of fiddle with this wire to get it to touch this other spot. And that would let the heater blower turn on right now. Well, now I fixed it properly. Um, <laughs> you know, things like that, that are just taking a lot of time. Like, you know, they got the wipers all together. Finally, um, it's, it's just slow work. I finally order, was able to order some parts to hear the best MGA parts source is a place in Rhode Island that doesn't have an online presence. They have a paper catalog. And mostly they have a lady named Celia and you call the lady named Celia. She's this older lady who has forgotten more about MGAs than I'm going to ever know, despite owning it for 30 years. And every part you, you're telling you, you tell her she wants, she's going to tell you the story about how that part go, either goes on the best way to install it or why their part is better than other suppliers parts. And so it takes half an hour to make so an she's, order. She's the MG equivalent to that Volkswagen lady you found yeah, on the uh, Bay Brand. Place. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much so i've got the part ordered i haven't gotten confirmation that that's that the order i've gotten the order or sent it yet but whatever i talked to her and gave it it'll show up someday and that's fine um tonight i fixed chrissy's sister's husband's durango it had a cylinder four misfire so we threw some coil packs and spark plugs at it which for anyone that's never worked on a chrysler pentastar getting to the driver's side Spark plugs and coil packs requires removing the intake plenum, which require has several little just impossible to reach brackets holding it on, which is just frustrating. But got that all done. Uh, and we had a civic party up at Garage Heroes last Saturday. I brought our civic up. They had their civic there. We corner weighted and aligned both cars, which was fun. They got to learn how to do it. I got to corner weight my car. It's just nice. I've got our Civic corner weighted to within two pounds as raced with you know, as race trim the way we've got it. Got the alignment just right. Both cars should be set up very nicely now. So it's great to take advantage of Bill's equipment. Bill likes to buy things. I like to use the things Bill buys while teaching <laughs> him how to buy the things that he, teaching him how to use the things he bought. This is a great symbiotic relationship there. <laughs> So, yes. yeah, um, I could change the oil in the Mercedes and the Cadillac too. In that time, it's been a lot of stuff I'm working on things. Well, it's been two weeks since we've been around. Yeah. So we've got, we've had plenty of time to do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We have, we have, we have we've, ha we've had time to do stuff and that doing stuff was reasons we couldn't get it together. One of the uh, funnier comments when we did post a video after not like releasing an episode for two weeks was someone uh, I, I have to go look at the YouTube. It said, uh, you know, can't make your schedules. No one like more like no one wants to work anymore, which was hilarious. Well played. Yep. Right. Ready. <laughs> News. Notes time. Great. Yes. Fox Fox business has a story that might affect your insurance rates. Recently, a 65 year old software company saw, saw his insurance rate for his Chevy bolt. EV increased 21% in the year, despite a clean driving record. The culprit, OnStar. It appears that GM has been selling bulk data about driving habits from their OnStar connected vehicle for years. No specific location data, but information about acceleration, braking, and other control inputs uh, to data brokers. These companies, like LexisNexis, provides insurance companies with customer driving data as a method of risk assessment. This practice was largely unknown to consumers with uh, with consent often buried in the very fine print and obscure privacy policies. It is also important to note that GM isn't alone in this practice as it's been growing trend among major automakers including Ford, Honda, Hyundai, and others. We have many links to in our notes. So many. So many so many and links. And LexisNexis describes their product as a, quote, a source agnostic platform for telematics-based driving behavior data and vehicle insights that has the ability to bring insurance carriers together with automotive manufacturers and other third-party telematics service providers to help improve the car ownership experience, end quote. In 2018, they announced the program as a means to track vehicle history, stating, quote, relying on customers to fill in the critical but sometimes non-obvious or unknown details for their insurer to then assess risk and provide an appropriate premium back to the consumer can be cumbersome and unreliable. Mm -hmm. uh, and a New York Times report indicated that some of the GM vehicles were tracked even when the OnStar smart driver feature was turned off. 
Last six Nexus said, uh, quote, telematics data is highly predictive of driving risk and is best used alongside other standard rating variables like claims history and credit-based insurance scores. Now, hang on. Chris talks about insurance. Check it off your maker card. Yay! <laughs> I do know a little bit about this kind of thing. And LexisNexis is an incredible resource of stuff. And, and the amount of things that are available on it are frightening. I, I had no idea. I was going to about to stop a story midway and say, are they still around? Because that used to be like almost like a search engine, for, like when we had dial up. Yeah. Yeah. They do have a different kind of search engine now for like, I can tell you again. Oh, That's like you can tell me things. what I can. Okay. Great. I, I actually can't. The people that work for me can. I don't have access anymore, but oh. the, the people that work for me do. So, oh. anyway. um, but the the other thing is the insurance companies don't just get this data. They have you have to opt into this somehow. So somehow you may not have realized you've opted in -ish to it, but yeah, it's it's a little it, the, how how well you have recognized being opted into this is the, is the issue. And some some carriers are a lot better about this than others. We'll put it that way. Typically, the more you advertise, the uh, worse you are about this kind of thing. Yeah. Surprise! There's a class action lawsuit filed. Yep. So Romeo Checo was rejected by seven separate insurance providers before getting a policy at nearly twice his former rate. And these increases were linked to his 2021 Cadillac XT6's data tracking. Now, Checo claims that he was not aware until he learned on one of his applications that it was declined because of his, quote, LexisNexis report. The insurance telemetrics market now right now is dominated by Progressive. That's exactly what that little smart drive thing is that you plug into your OBD port. And it's worth pausing here that everyone I know that has done that, not one single person has ever gotten a discount ever. It has always been an increase. And others as Allstate, Liberty Mutual, Nationwide, State Farm, they all have programs that use telemetric data. Now, elected officials are starting to take notice. Massachusetts Senator Ed Markey has asked the Fair Trade Commission to look into the practice while California Protection Agency is currently investigating the automator's data collection practices. And the reason was when I was digging all this information up, there are numerous people that say they did not opt in on these GM vehicles, and but the telematics data is still being tracked whether you turn it on or off, it doesn't matter because it's all there and it's all getting mobbed together and sold to LexisNexis. So even if you're opting out, they're collecting data on whether or not you, how you drive. Chrissy, there's some more information down there. If you want to know that, you know what? What? If you want to know what, if any of your driving habits are being tracked and shared, you can actually request a consumer disclosure report through LexisNexis required by the Fair Credit Reporting Act. That link is down there. I did that this evening. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's a multi step I did process. It, I did it two weeks ago. Have not gotten my report yet. I've got okay. acknowledgement that I asked for it, but they haven't sent it to me. Good. And you can also use your car's VIN to access the OEM's privacy policy as well as the data it's capable of collecting. Um, now there's a report for free. I looked at this and I was looking at this and I'm saying, you know what, this vehicle privacy report thing, they now are going to have all this data because you have to give them a fair amount too. Mm. What are they doing with it? And I didn't have time to read their privacy mm. policy to see what they're doing with it before I could do anything else. Because if you want them to have you opt out, you have to give them permission to be your agent, to opt out of all these things. And I'm like, hmm. Slightly sus. Want to look up more? I I, I go. did go through that, and what they told me, because uh, uh, they're trying to sell you something, and what mm -hmm. they said is that my Mazda is basically a, and they use this quote, rolling hard drive, uh, and it collects everything. But they had a link to Mazda's corporate data sharing policies. Mazda does not share it, and it is what is even more interesting, is because I purchased my car pre-owned from a non-Mazda dealer, everything that I'm doing is being linked to the previous owner. 
<laughs> so if oh. their rates go up all of a sudden, interesting. Be, wonder... Because the yes, uh, w- because they didn't sell the car back to Mazda, they sold it to a uh, another dealership, and that dealership doesn't give a crap about updating Mazda on who owns this particular vehicle. Their job is to sell it and move on. And I feel mm-hmm. like that's going to be an interesting stake in some of this stuff is unless they are cross-referencing with state registration. That's so, too much work. Ex- well, that's right? like so much work. Right. Look, Mercedes knows that we own that car, but we've had it in for service at Mercedes. Mm-hmm. So that's probably why. I've Mazda never gotten has anything. no idea. Yeah. I've given it, I've forgotten anything from General Motors on the Cadillac. But uh, I don't know that we're doing anything differently because we bought that from Virginia, yeah. so it's probably well. Not, and, but... and looking through the Carfax uh, report, I absolutely guarantee that I'm driving my car differently. Uh, and there was some uh, <laughs> somewhere in this report too. There was a couple of people that bought high performance vehicles and took them onto tracks, but this telematic data while they were on racetracks doing safe high performance driver education all gets fed into this. And there's no, because the geo uh, the geolocating data cannot be sold because that is a privacy issue. All they know is, is, Oh my God, it's just going three around times on this Saturday for 20 minutes. They were doing 105 miles an hour and doing max braking. Oh my God, this person is dangerous. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, we're talking about Miata. So let's talk about a different Miata. You're going to hear a lot about, Racing junk here in a few moments, but right now Miata is always the answer, especially when new teams want to race and don't want to build a new car. So we have a 1990 Miata 1.8 liter. uh, It's ready for lemons, champ, lucky dog, and most of the Ciros series series Uh, series. Oh, that's not what it says. Uh, the current owner has had it for two years and ran four Lucky Dog events past tech as recently as October. And the safety equipment is up to date. Buy the car now and race with Lucky Dog in May at Big Willow. Extra wheels included. Selling due to teammates losing interest. It's a good deal, but mental. Why? What? Tell us what they went wrong with the ad. They didn't get a pro membership, so there's mm-hmm. only one picture. Come on. Oh. Seriously. So Racing Joint just had a St. Patrick's Day promo offering a one month pro membership for get this a dollar. Now it might still be going so on. So cheap. Seriously, it's a dollar. You, you would you would use a dollar's worth of racing junk. You can check out our Instagram, see if that deal's still going, because we we promoted that one. And if it is no good, you can still definitely use code POD23. Get that pro junk or pro junk racing junk pro <laughs> membership to get so you some pro junk. Pro oh, junk. That, get you some that's, their, junk. that's their new slogan. Pro <laughs> junk. Pro junk. And what that pro does junk. is that, yes, I'm pro that gets junk. you five Are ads. You? That gets you 50 photos per ad <laughs> that you know who's watching your item. You got a dashboard. You got all that stuff. I did post that motorcycle that I had with my father back in February on there. And I just got a message about it and I was able to check all the stuff on the dashboard. I'm like, Oh goodness. I feel so bad. I've already sold that motorcycle and I was able to message a person, but it, it just, everything's off your hand because we've got a pro membership under everyone racers and it has absolutely been worth every dime. You could save all your favorite ads, all this other kind of stuff. Plus you get like discounts on all their t-shirts and everything. So you should definitely check out racing junk yeah awesome we're gonna have more later yep now we uh we don't have any upcoming races and uh i just did not get a chance to get the results for champ car at ncm or lemons at nola or the lemons rally uh we can i I mean we can pull lemons lemons at nola pretty easily but um we'll have those next week how about that okay because we had no upcoming races this week so we've got time no that's true let's talk about them next week because we have a jam-packed show anyway and we delayed our start on this okay so it's time on our last episode with dean from sorry for party on youtube mike Kay said the hand pump story has a more critical life safety application from my time in iraq short version a russian designed rolls royce turb- turbine powered built under the license in Poland helicopter I regularly flew had a 20 liter oil drum with a foot pump operated by the door gunner's left hand when commanded by the co-pilot the engine in question if built in England was recalled for a leaky oil seal 
Polish built and operated, not so much. When he noted that this is an Keep amazing, oh, fine. that's when he noted that this is amazing, even for my case story, uh, the smoke trail, the helicopter left in its wake was more impressive. I've got some time on some sketchy Russian built stuff, but man, that is just next level. Oh, yeah. Now, I posted the picture of the floors of my 914 in a what you working on? And Jeff H called my rust free car really free rust. Greg O'Brien also said, quote, for those of us in the Northeast have been told the legend of the Southeast where cars never rust for generations. Sometimes it's all that keeps us going during the cold, angry winters that and Dunkin Donuts. If we were lied to, I am so crushed. You weren't lied to. The car is a year younger than I am. And what's even more interesting is it rusted from the top down. So the, the floor pans didn't rust out. Uh, water got inside the car and then sat there and puddled and eventually got under the, the dynomat co or the, the tar like coating that I had to do the infamous dry ice method on there. So don't be crushed, yeah. Greg. No way that a rubber seal wore out in a desert and allowed water <laughs> to leak in. I don't know how that possibly, thing could possibly happen. Uh, Al Jones said, Hey, it's kind of cute. You consider that rust. Vegas rust is like Vegas weather. When you think 60 degrees is cold, 60 degrees is cold. Nope. Everyone, uh, Sean Dillon said that everyone racers or said, I'm sorry, said to us, it's put on a sweatshirt temperature at worst. And then Tim Burr says, uh, surface rust created from the salty tears of its own, of its past owners, some of joy and some well, because Porsche. Uh, gentleman Dave was driving back from the route 66 rally where he almost died again. It's about right. That's why I didn't get to hang out with him. He was stuck in the middle of nowhere with a car that he had just bought. I posted another what you're working on from the Driven Garage with Judge Jeff and Tim Burr and a couple other folks. And Merle Martin, Judge Phil himself said, it is good to see that great slash horrible isuzu Chevy still around. And that's a little bit more of an insight as to what is coming up in May for Thunderhill. Oh, Bill F. said we already know what he's working on. And Randy said, Hey, I got my work done earlier this week. Except that you pull road tripping to a wedding, swapped a cooling fan from the A9 unit with a junkyard replacement in a target parking lot a few hours before the wedding. Fantastic. Matt F was working, quote, starting prepping for CMP, looking the T bird over, and then home work, putting on our new kitchen back together. Sent us a picture of that. And that's a good looking kitchen. It is. It's he's, got a, he's got a cool house, too. Yeah, he, he does. does. He yeah. really does. He's a cool Scott cat. He deserves a cool house. Absolutely. Scott McMichael said, quote, transportation and has a new Dodge Diplomat project. Oh, You're going to have to go check out our Facebook to see that picture because it is awesome. Awesome is the right word. Uh, Corey D said, picking out items for a bathroom remodel this afternoon. See, it's not all IOE with him. And the kind of guy Corey is, he's doing an entire bathroom remodel in an afternoon. That's <laughs> just done. Yep. Not... Uh, not completely in an afternoon. Theoretically, there was a shower head he's not allowed to have in California. So it's being mailed to my house and then I'm going to send it to him because the company was like, sorry, oh, you live in California. We can't send it to that. It's address. not like a low mm. flow or something like, like a yeah. oh, energy, whatever. Well, oh. or somebody just didn't want to file the, the California paperwork. Oh, that their too. factory is sure, compliant sure. with. Oh. He needs, he needs to put like a Prop 69 warning label on his shower. It's like the shower hey, is known by the state of California to cause injuries. Please beware. Something yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, Albert W. was just rambling with the Mighty Mighty Rambler. It is still out there. And Adam N. says, uh, picking up a replacement of a childhood toy that will make for some excellent stunning and exploding in the paddock. It will ride a wheelie well under 10 miles an hour forever. Maybe an image of a tractor, snowplow, all-terrain vehicle, and text. It's some kind of ATV thing. But he was also dining with his Magnum wagon and included a video. Cool. It was pretty cool. Uh, you know who doesn't often do wheelies at 10 miles an hour forever? <laughs> oh. But if she could, maybe she would. I say yeah, RDX you would know who's all that. dino and all Magnum? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hello, That's Chrissy's mom. Answer. Cookie's coming to you a race near you sometime soon. 
Actually, yeah. what? Uh, we had three weeks till mm-hmm. pit. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's it's it's, it's hard cookies. to keep track of these things when you're not you know frantically trying to throw the car back together at the last minute because it's been ready since last year it's yeah oh, if we didn't say that we swapped the cars out this weekend at the garage the mother's in we the trailer now that. oh it's i sitting took all kinds trailer. of pictures too i should do that it's so it's then... the the weekend before the race i'll pull it back out of the trailer and flush the water and swap the tires and bleed the brakes and send it it was a nice weekend to do the shuffling though we, we seriously yeah. need a lazy susan yep <laughs> anyway it's my time what are we doing? You what you you were the one that came up with the I like for this, I like car shopping shows. So that's what I told you. So if you're listening to the podcast, we will do our best to ex- describe uh what we're looking at, but chances are you probably will want to look at what we're looking at because that's just half the fun. Uh we decided on a car shopping episode. We decided actually I suggested the car shopping, mental did the picks of what we are uh, looking for are kind of our topics. And then we decided, he decided that we are going to shop for each other. So we have a whole bunch of links. Throw another for wrinkle in there. It was getting too, uh, too formulaic. Pretty much. Yeah. So we have um, a bunch of different topics. We picked cars for each other. Uh, we went for, so there is from Chris for mental and then from Chris for me. And then we decided, so Chris and I were finding some fun cars. So we decided to make a two free, two, two feet, two me from me category because meh, they didn't show anywhere else. Um, how do you want to break this up, guys? Do you want to do Whatever. a, do you want to look at all of the first topic to see what we've got so we can kind of like stay within the topics or how do you think, want to do this? I think that's going to be a lot of sharing screen bouncing around. I think we might yep. need to go one, one category at a time. Like, like Chrissy, why don't we present, why don't we give our gifts to mental? Let's, okay. Let's do that. How about, okay. How all right. So I you guess. want me to open all my, all my mentals and then yeah. you, okay, great. So I'll, I mean, I can start us off here and just, uh, with, with things I think mental would like, uh, I just need to pop this out of the browser. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Now I can share a screen. So Metzl, you mentioned you wanted something maybe for drag week or for um uh like Woodward Dream Cruise, right? And I said something what do that I know? none of us would ever like aspire to, not because we don't like it, but it's just not our jam. Well, yes. this might be your jam. Oh, this, that is this totally is a, my jam. This, we see, yeah. I I saw this and thought of you. Now we're sorry for those who are audio, we're gonna have to be very descriptive. This is a 1967. El Camino, 420 cubic inch, four speed. It is bright yellow. It is 25 grand. It is on racing it's junk. And this person- It's shiny. It's, yeah, it's like, it's in it's a, pretty it's in good nice condition. shape. It's yeah. a big, this shiny, a yellow wonderful build. El yes. Camino with a big block and a little fuel cell and twin batteries in the trunk and a cage. Oh, Ooh, that's a, that's a, uh, uh, his and her shifter or the, uh, just the multi gear lever shifters, but it's still got the ribbon speedo in the back. Oh yeah. The dash is yellow. And I just said, like, <laughs> man, this is, this has got oh, metal yeah. all <laughs> over it. Yes. That right. Fantastic. Oh, and it's just yeah. out of Phoenix. It's in oh. Phoenix. It's, uh, it's a, um, a oh, small block G force, four speed transmission, long shifter in line, 12 bolt rear, 48 gears with a spool, advanced clutch, 14 and a half compression ratio on the FJE pistons, uh, 690 horsepower at 7,200 RPM has a dyno sheet for it. Ooh, a small grand. block winding up to 7,200. That is intimidating. Brave. <laughs> Brave. Yes. That will scare you a bit. Wow. That is Damn it. I feel like every other <laughs> thing I picked is going to be a letdown. That is. Pretty- uh, well, so mine's a letdown because mine is not nearly that fun. <laughs> uh, all right. So we're going with Woodward. Is that where we're, he- we're headed? I, guess, right? I, I was trying to open multiple of these. I just didn't have them done yet. So Chrissy, if one of you give one and then I'll go back and go through some other. That's, ones I that's what I was going to. I figure we'll just go on whatever topic you've got. And I'll just give my yeah. car as well. So we're going with the Woodward. So I was looking at Vintage cars that are unique, that mine is not this cool, but I have mm, sharing screen. Where is the sharing screen? 
I there it is. Okay, sorry, you have to go through all this. I do it if you can't. We will. I nope, nope, nope. I got it. Okay, so we have we have a. 1951 modified Studebaker champion two-door sedan looks like it has some racing numbers kind of interesting um this is from bring a trailer uh it went for 11 grand which is totally reasonable um I was just going for something different so it totally is and uh, for those a- that might know something about Studebakers but don't have it all like mapped out this is the generation of Studebaker from the first Muppet movie yeah it's a bullet nose commander coop and according to the description that i, I just chrissy just scrolled by i know no i know cube- i was looking for the picture sorry there you go yeah 400 cubic inch chevy 700 r4 nine inch ford rear end yeah black primer finish looks like it has some racing parts on it as well um yeah something different chris obviously wins this this category but i just thought uh, uh, you know okay because uh, el camino speaks to my heart but right uh, this is so, I guarantee you're the only one of these things that rolls up. Right? Oh, yeah. Some, and then something you can spend different. The entire oh, Woodward Cruise so. going, ah, a bear in his natural habitat, a ah, Studebaker. <laughs> that is really cool. Something oh, different. Video too. There we go. All right. What, what's about, next? What's, uh, what? Next one I had was for uh, dirt tracking. Sure. You want to go dirt tracking, I think, right? right? I mean, there's got to well, be and, something and dirt tracking. Like, I, I wanted to try like like one of those Hornet class, which this one's kind of cheating because I still want to do that, and I'm going to. I keep saying, but one of these mm. ones, I'm absolutely. I decided you're not going to do that. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope, we decided. <laughs> I decided you're going to go Legends Racing. Woo! Nice. Yes. Here's nice. a 1937 Chevy Legends race car. Thirteen. 13- Thirteen grand in Kentucky, selling due to health and personal. We spent all the world building this new car from the chassis up. You won't find a nicer Legends car. Doesn't say much more about it, but it looks great. And I would argue he's right. You're probably not going to find a nicer Legends car. That one's really because I'm I'm always looking for those for reasons. Yeah, it's red. It's got a big number one on it. It's got no hood. It looks like a Legends car. And I used to have so much fun with these in iRacing. They were way better than I thought they were going to be, which made me think that they were interesting. Well, it's a, yeah. it's a Yamaha 1000 CC. You get the inline transmission. It's a yeah. Toyota modified rear axles. It, and they seem yeah. easy to work on, pretty durable, cheap, easy on consumables. This seems like a great way to go. And this is so cheap. Like you can actually go racing more often. Mm-hmm. All right. That is dope. I'm going to roll into the next one. Right, Chrissy, oh, you why? One yeah, I got oh, two. Oh, okay, what? great. I got two. Okay, so we decided uh, I have two different types of racing that you can do in these in your dirt car. We have a 1985 Camaro stock car. Because uh, America. For $4,500. It is uh, shiny black and seems kind of fun. Uh, oh, it's less an engine and clutch, which I neglected neglected to realize. But it's got a lot, a whole lot of new stuff. Car setup could go dirt or asphalt. Um, that one's fine. It's also only has less one picture. Less engine and clutch. Like I don't know people with small blocks laying around. Sure. Well, it's close to. Well, it's close. It's on the right side of the world for it's you. Yeah, it Yuma. Is, That's right. Yes. Man. Right. Okay. So you can have that one. Or we have another one. Hold on screen here that's not what you want to see at all hold on a second that's my, that's my bad board. podcasting i, Man, I, I apologize keep, I go with mine no 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 my co-hosts are knocking this one out of the park because i'm feeling well actually some of these no, I, we've got I, lots of time Come on. there we go these are the ones like uh uncle dave does and you got to have a trailer full of like seventeen thousand different spring combinations oh it comes with that i don't know how much this is because it's listed as 27 dollars, which it's not so i don't know how much it is 27k straight as an arrow complete sell it it's a dirt late model that's what oh thank you i have no idea what nobody knows what that means as a late model but unless you play an i racing because they have these on i racing yeah. Okay. Well, this comes out with two motors, all spare parts, which is a ton, a 32 foot triple axle Hallmark trailer. Trailer is 98, but it's in good shape. Way too much stuff to list. So I still have no idea how much it is, but seems like a pretty good deal if you get a car and some parts and a trailer. 
Oh, yeah. And it's probably not a moon trailer. Oh, definitely not a moon trailer. Yeah. All right. no, There's my a, dirt dirt cars. A, probably like a double stacker that you have to tow behind a tour bus. Meh. Yep. Or dually. All right. Oh, I, what's I want, next? next? Next is a, a car for the Lemons Rally for Ooh, you. Okay. Oh, I, now, I wanted something. One. I wanted something that was going to be, you know, a good highway car, but also a medium chance of, of, of breakage. And especially if it does break, you are screwed. But <laughs> if it doesn't, if it doesn't, and there's, a, there's again, a half a chance that it's not going to because of what it is, you are going to be so cool and so comfortable and the only one guaranteed to have one of these. And this is the cheapest one I've ever seen in this country that runs and drives. So we have here a 1998 Toyota Century. Now, what? for those that don't know what a Century is, this was a car oh. only sold in Japan. It's this from the is, Parkin Barn. Yep. This is typically, uh, dri this this is what the Emperor of Japan and the royal family get yeah. driven around in. Like also, you, the, you, the regular Yakuza people can't bosses. buy these. You have to be somebody special. Yeah, to Yakuza go get bosses, one. Uh, like, you know, corporate CEOs, like corporate CEOs, right? So this one is, of course, black and, and gray, 77,000 miles, running project car, engine runs, large crack and dash pad, windows are inoperable and paint fading, <laughs> but, you know, it's like I mean, a rally you car. You can't tell the it. paint. It's beautiful. Well, the, the paint on these when they're good is some of the best in the world. Oh, okay, actually, that's actually they, uh, Merle Martin, a.k.a. Judge Phil, did an article on this, I believe, for Auto Week on the construction of the century and the the level of prep and paint that goes into this. It's the I bet you hit this with a buffer and you could get it back to probably spotless right One hand drive. Yeah, there because it's Japan. But one Got of their it. standards is when you you know, as a very fancy person get out of the back of this car because you're driven around in it, you don't drive it. No. The the C pillar that's painted black should be so shiny and good that you can check your tie Shut in up. the reflection on the C pillar. Shut up. No, nope, that's so, legit. Can that's, I see more pictures? Legit. Go, go, go. Oh, there's, there's only, only four pictures. Four picture. Oh uh, well, you can look Where up to get this. Duncan this is a hell of a deal. Forty one hundred. Oh gosh, let's go get this. Bucks. I want right? to go buy this. What? These so, things run forever, like run well. Yeah. They just let's, don't yes. break. But you okay. can see how this would be. This would be a a a a, a bit of a throw of the dice on a lemon rally as to how this is going to do. But you know, if it worked, you'd be thrilled, wow. right? Okay. I'm impressed. Free themed, really. Yeah. Okay. They just use right. yakuza or ties, and they yeah, it's fine. Mine is super fun you're gonna show up and you want to be the shoutiest person in the you can you're gonna start this when there's a parade you're gonna be in front because this guy is amazing this is a 1970 chevy fire truck yeah. oh yeah it is faded to pink at this point for the most part. Yes, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this is yeah. like a, it's like a C70. It's like a Kodiak. Yeah. And it's got the, what, 10 oh, lug wheels? Screen doing this? Those are 10 lug wheels. Ricky, top right, top right of the picture. No, it's see just, the little arrows? it's, yes. Actually, it's, if you click like, on the pictures, there's also arrows that come up on either side. You can scroll through the, there we on go. the center yes. right. But you've got to Doing go this share screen with so only having screen. one. I know, I know, I know. I, because they're only, when you have one screen, you and I'm using a touchpad, you lose yeah, all the crap. Up, so I, this is stuff. the thing that I'm trying to do. Okay, great. So now we have a 1970 Chevy fire truck. It is. Uh, we do have some more pictures about it. And clearly, they paid the money, got that pro membership because they've got ten pictures. Ten pictures. Yes. Oh, it's a, of course it's a stick. So yeah. it looks pretty rust free. You're it's got uh, a yeah. Where, where are you going? It's from Michigan. Now it's in this. Uh, there's a lot of these things that are from racing. Oh, it's that, that are one guy. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah it's one, this yeah. one guy. Yeah. So it is an automatic. It's a Loberville it's, is what it says on the side of it, but that it is, is running and driving. Uh, so yeah. Uh, thought you'd be this, you're going to arrive in style yeah. and people are going to know you're coming and if you not, can put fires out. The alarm. Yeah, yeah, you can put fires out. Uh, I have another one, actually. Uh, if you don't like that one, I also found you a 1981 Alfa Romeo for sale. 
This is on Craigslist. This is there's local. Your, there's your throw of the dice. Th- this Actually, yeah, no, that's not, not a throw of the dice. You're not finishing the rally in a 71 Alpha. It runs. Perfect car for restoration. Runs. So not really sure what that means. It looks like it's in a yard. But if you don't like a fire truck and you I'm want still something seeing smaller. The, uh, I'm still seeing the fire truck. Can you bring up the picture of the Alpha? Oh, that's a shame. Yep, I can. Because sh- I just shared it. You shared the one. Window. I just shared the one. I apologize. No, no, it's all good. Here's, it's all here's good. your other one. You can have a Alfa Ooh. Romeo. Whoa, okay. For this guy, now granted, it's in Joyzy. Right, for so that's why I guess I was searching Craigslist hey, near near me. Hey, Tom, I hope you're uh, I hope you're listening to this episode because this could be your next bad decision. Uh, he's <laughs> He has enough of those. No, and in a, yes, a... Uh, 81, it says perfect re- car for restoration runs, runs. Hmm. Okay. That's runs. a lot for an alpha and it's got a hard, it top. is, it's black, but with some red panels, brown Thank interior, you. wooden steering wheel. It looks a little rough. It's parked really, really close to a fence, which is usually not I, a good no, sign. No, isn't that a trailer? It might be. It's, it's in a yard. It's, in a yard. Somebody's it's from New yard. Jersey. Yeah, this, this yeah. got, this got rolled back into, yeah, mm-hmm. this is a, don't pull the carpets up when you go to look at it. Yeah. And run, runs may, runs. might be runs when parked, but um, I like the, I like the fire truck too, but I just stumbled on this one. So I had to add it. I had to add it. I love it. That is. So the next one I've got for you, Mental, I saw and I said, how can I give us a category? And I thought, you know what? <laughs> you about- made your own category. I did. My own category. This one is terrible idea daily driver that you would love, but it's a terrible idea to daily this thing. So, <laughs> and and it's it's categorized. I I see the heading because you you the link is uh, hidden under. If I win the lottery, I will buy you no, that's, this, which is no, great that's the because next that one. means it's no, that's the I next can't one. afford it. No, that's the next one. This is oh, different. Okay. This is. Terrible idea, daily driver. What is this? Te- is a, no, that is awesome idea for daily driver. This is fantastic. This, this is a a red rot, rotsau red pig Mercedes W one hundred nine replica uh, of a nineteen seventy Mercedes three hundred SCL six point three. It's red. It's wow. got no bumpers. It's got the. It's just a. It needs. I some hate that they blacked out lights. the chrome, but I love yeah. everything else. Needs the chrome back on it. Yeah. But it's it's got all the right vintage graphics. Huh. It's got the right stance. It's, it's got the so huge low. fender flares. Oh wow! It is so low, but there it's still is... got the luxury interior. It's what is this still... category? So this is the uh, and it's the it is the it's, actual it's still an actual six point three with three hundred horsepower and four hundred thirty five foot pounds of torque. This thing was a monster in its day. This it's one looks pretty now. cool. And for 36 8 that it got bid to and bring a trailer, I was like, you know what? Mental would roll that on a daily basis. I totally would. <laughs> and I bet the air conditioner still works. Yeah, but you put the big chrome grill back on it instead of this oh, black one. Absolutely. This this totally necessary. When you hit the lottery and you buy me this, just deliver it to the uh <laughs> to Judge Gates garage. And I'm going to say, like, leave everything alone. Just make the chrome shiny again. And he will go and he will look at it and go, yeah, that's right. That's ex- exactly how that thing needs to look. And then then I will simply fly to Hayward and drive it back and have to stop halfway for a new set of rear tires because I am going to boil them off. Yeah. Did and we that, lose? Awesome. That that wasn't the uh, win. This is what I'll buy you if I win the lottery. Oh, that's, shit. Okay. That's just that was terrible. a bad daily right. driver category. That's a I, great I'll idea. You, I just, I'll show you wrong. the leather one, It's too. a great idea for a daily driver. This is the if I win the lottery, I'll buy this. Yeah, because it's expensive. Oh yeah, this, there we go. This is a '93 928 GTS five speed. It's the last iteration of the 928, so it's got yes, the smoother the bumpers, 500 and horsepower, dip, right? And it's got it's one of the very few five speeds they made of the GTS. I don't want this. And it's Are we getting this? Does. It's got the wing no, on the back. This is for yeah. mental. It's- Okay, good. This is for okay. mental because mental likes 928s a lot. He's I only do. had ones that kills should, him. He should get a too. proper 928. And this one is it. get a proper 928. Like perfect. Oh, and it's got it's cocoa mat. Oh. So it's owned by an enthusiast. Yeah. Perfect shape, five speed, last version. Oh, and he drove it. Yeah. 126K still, proper. Still 90 grand, but you know. yeah. Only 30 times what I paid for the last one. Right. Or exactly. 90 times what I paid for the parts car. 
<laughs> do you have that a, tr- a cool. do you have a drift car for mental? No, couldn't find one. Oh, I have one. Great. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I... So that was one of the other things is uh we're not drifters on purpose. Okay. Oh, it is the it is the the yes, so 1967 what is found is the 67 Mustang that they put the turbo six Nissan motor in for Fast and Furious to- Tokyo Drift. It's in well, Norway, so it's a little car. it's a little this, far. This may not be the I feel like I remember reading an article about this one. I feel like it. This it, one's, it says it has a V8. Oh, no, 430 stroker. All right. I'm okay with that too. Mm. That's going to drift it. Oh, it's going sideways. It's from New York, Norway. So, yeah. you know, there's a 60. Let's, let's be, we have to be descriptive here. Black Go ahead. 67 Mustang with white stripes, fastback, big wheels. It says green paint. Well, it looks black in the little screen I'm looking at. So, but it should, yeah. could be green. Sure, start very dark. No, green. Chrissy's right. It is. It's dark moss green. So it, it's it's, yeah, period correct. I mean, oh, that's the wheels are a little much, but I guess as you for fast and the furious Toko drift, that was what you needed. They're a little too mm-hmm. big otherwise, but they are 19 inch Volk Racing VRGT sevens featuring polished lips. This is a lot. Yeah. I- it's well, but it's sold that for would 70, definitely drift. 76 grand for something that may have some notoriety to it. You don't have to buy it. It's fine. That's that would be a terrible daily driver, not because it's a terrible <laughs> car, but because of the things that I would do. And get into trouble with it. All right. In order to keep this moving, I think bouncing back and forth is taking a long time. I think we okay. might need to go. All right. So Chris in a bit more you, order. You picked out stuff for Chrissy. I did. And if you give me a minute, I can put these into a browser window that I can then share really easily. So, so just... This is the joy of this show. So Chrissy and I came up with this idea via text and then like adding these categories that I wasn't expecting. Uh, the, the, if I win the lottery. So I feel oh, bad because I'm not prepared for that, but you I added... love I love that, of course, Chris goes shopping for Chrissy. I mean, well, yeah, we, I thought we were supposed to shop for each other. We are. Yes. And we did. Okay. And I've almost got all of these three up. And I can oh, always go through the, okay, you ready? One of them's no longer available. Oh, oh we just did this not long ago to so make sure it that they were yesterday. available. I know. Well, all right, well I'll just clearly you chose it. correctly because someone else bought it. Okay, what All do you right. got for me? So, uh, Chrissy, this is for Lemons Rally. This is a 1991 <laughs> Honda Beat. This Ooh. is a tiny little Honda three cylinder K car. But I have to go somewhere in a Lemons yep. Rally. Yeah, but that's the point. Lemons Rally has to be some suffering. You drove involved. to the Cape in an NSX. This has more storage space. Mm. It's close. So this is it. It's like a <laughs> tiny little like half scale NSX. <laughs> It's a Honda. It it's a I like that the guy's putting his finger over the license plate, but it's like yep. most of the car. Yep. It's a 660cc three cylinder. It is a little tiny convertible. <laughs> There's the engine. There's the trunk. Where's yep. the trunk? Oh, no, no, no. There's no yeah. trunk. Yeah. You could definitely no. fit a Suffering briefcase is in involved. there. That's, that totally there, could hold just, a briefcase. It'll be reliable. A briefcase? Yep. It'll be reliable. It. I Won't like the floor the mats. They have yep. like ch- Chinese characters on them. <laughs> it's got little like anime characters. Yep. Yeah. It's a, it's a silver Honda beat. It's got a hard top. Okay. It's got black wheels. The hard it top is... is kind of rare. I'm not it sure is. I love this, but okay. Well, you're not supposed to like a Lemons Rally car. You're not supposed to say, yeah, that's a good car. You're supposed okay, to okay. worry about some suffering. All right. And the other one I thought is uh, Chrissy needs a car for being at the beach. So what do you That's need? not it? You could totally drive that onto the beach. This is the beach car. This oh. is a 1976 oh. 850cc oh. Mini that's been converted to a beach car. Holy it's got the entire crap. the entire sides are open and they like have a like Fiat beach Jolly. Chairs. It has, yes, it has That's what I was to say it's a British handles. Fiat Jolly. What? Yep. Oh, but it's, it's so got cute. Four seats. It's wide open, no doors, no. It's got a windshield. And no, in the back no there, option for it. doors. Like they're the, yep. the whole the all the pillars no doors, are gone. Yes, but it's got yeah, oh. like like woven rattan chairs. And when it. not got, at the beach, it's a, a bars. It, it's a it's a pit vehicle. 
Yeah. That is a cool But it's pick, otherwise yeah. oh, an A50 CC Mini. Uh, that's just I love super cool. It. Yep. Thank you. Where is You're that? Welcome. Where is it located? Uh, it's currently bid to $15,000. It, it means it is didn't sell. Stafford, Stafford Virginia. Virginia. No, I think wow. it's, yeah. Is it still off for sale? No, it, it, it did not sell at 15000 But no. You know, if you had a beach house, or like an island somewhere, how cool would this thing be? That is 100% right? cool. I mean, I'm a little concerned about the wheel, the um, amount of, uh, it doesn't get high centered and stuck. But oh, like don't you don't go on the sand? Right? Oh, you just drive okay. It around, you drive it around your beach town to yeah. go places. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, that's what I, don't it's know. For. I don't know if it'd be legal in the Cape. They're pretty oh, strict. Sure it would. Yeah, doesn't it matter. It's got plates on it's it. Old, they can... It's an old car with plates yeah. on it. And the the last one that's not there anymore. I can just tell you what it is. It was a yes. It was a, a medium green metallic Porsche 911 Car Targa oh. 4 GTS. Like a fairly yes. new one. The Target yes. 4 GTS. It was Why am I getting this? Or with a... a brown in here. No, 992. Ah, 9 very nice. Targa 4 GTS. If we win the lottery. <laughs> oh, okay. It was okay. it was just the right color of green that you like. Well, and I love those new Targas with the whole sliding glass that. Yeah, that's one of those. That's dope. Okay. Okay. All right, who's next? Did you get your uh, classy AF car? I didn't get to that one yet, but I, I mean, I can, if we well, want me to continue down this yeah. road, I only have I'm only two. That way we get... first... You only have two for me? No, no, this is for me. So, yes, yeah, only those are the only two. I had three, oh. honey, but one of them was the Porsche that wasn't You're... there anymore. Terrible. Mm -hmm. I'm terrible. <laughs> I have so many cars for you. I got like I have well, multiple we're out options. Of time. We can't do them all. Oh. That's the problem. <laughs> That's awesome. What? I know. Uh well, all right. So this I'll just do these quick. These are the three that I thought would be fun for me. <laughs> you got three cars for you. I got three for you too. Right. That's wrong. Okay. So the first one. This is the classy. A F like there is not a classier looking car than this. Fight me. Yeah. Ready. This is a 1971 Mercedes three. They're 280 SE coupe. And the coupe is the part that matters. I mean, look at this thing. Coupe. It is blue. It is just so good. And the interior is like mm. nothing else on these. That is classy just, AF. Right, just the with the the tan leather, the tan leather, the brown carpets, the, all the wood in the dash, the chrome, just the the art deco kind of instrumentation. I think this is Meh. You're not going to get anywhere AF. in a hurry, but it doesn't matter because you're going to look better than everyone else. Well, this one's a V8 at least. It's a three and a half liter V8. It's not one of the six cylinder ones. True, but it's a three and a half liter V8, but it is basically also carrying a tank. Yeah. Any, you know, the old stacked headlight Mercedes, we've talked about this. They are just so great. Yeah. If you, uh, there was a hundred thousand dollars, so it's probably not you know, realistic. Either. I'm so going to say a I found... Net, Netflix show called the Kaminsky Me method where, uh, Michael Douglas plays a, uh, an aging previous actor and he drives a yeah. cab cabriolet version of one of these. So I, yeah, the cabs are even more money. So then I thought, well, you know, that's, that's unrealistic. How about a sedan? So I found this on Bring a Trailer, 1969, 300 SEL 6.3. Oh, it's 20 grand. Sold, sold for 20 grand. For, this is for an actual 6.3. What? what? It's, oh, there it is. Cause it's Canadian, but an actual 6.3 sold for 20 grand. I actually, oh my God, I would own that. An actual 6.3 and it's blue with the tan interior with the cocoa mats and the wood trim looks like it's in Look at that shape. RPM gauge right there in the center. Right. Because aftermarket. This, oh, I mean, this car gorgeous. was Not the hot rod. Afterthought. This was like the S63 of its day. Yes. This, and this thing, again, so, so cool, these cars. Uh, if could, I had that, that would eat up freeway with the same capabilities as the mighty amg just yeah this was designed across day. continents in 1970 is the, yes. the difference but mm -hmm. again cool af yes and oh, last i've awesome. always wanted one of these and this one might actually be reliable this is a 1988 range rover <laughs> but it's got an ls3 swap what yep 
this one was it's a 88 Range Rover classic short wheelbase, but this one has been fully restored and inside Ooh, and out. It looks gorgeous. Piping. Right, but it's got that LS3. So okay. That's that's gonna be all right. LS3 six speed automatic to the stock axles and things. Well, because uh, the axles and everything on those Range Rovers were never the issue. No one ever had an yeah. axle fail on their Range Rover. No, but one with an LS3, yes. that'd be cool. I'm going to climb this mountain, not spill my tea, and I'm going to do it in 4.7 seconds. Yeah. With the sound of freedom. Yep. That is gorgeous. Okay. Okay. I think I'm ready for uh, Chris's cars from me to Chris. Don't. Okay. Right. Okay. I am. Uh, so first, we're going for Woodward. Uh, what kind of older car can I find that you are excited to drive down the street? It is a 1973 Citroen. <laughs> <laughs> this one. It's it's red. It's sixteen it's grand. It has okay. a couple pictures. Ooh. Thank goodness. Ooh, those interiors, nice. It's, uh, and it's, the interiors it's, on those are so swanky. It's not. Yeah. It's not as bad as ours, but and that's it's a, a manual. Man, it's a manual, which is yes. good. It needs it's a in little far better condition than ours. Washing. Right? It needs some washing. A little bit of one cleanup. wiper is up. I'm not so sure about that. It's okay. It's okay. It, it needs a little, a little help. Rough. This was. It, this one's in Texas. Uh, it, it had a Texas, Texas title. Yeah, it's hard to say. Yes. What's what 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 do you think the odds are that this is the person that bought yours? Ours uh, is possible. Brown. You yes, think? I know, but the guy I sold it to had a couple others. Yeah, okay. He was like the SM guy. Yeah, rear fenders. Uh yeah, it's missing some hubcaps. Runs great, no noise, no smoke. They bought the five spears. Yeah. So uh all right, so Citroen SM. Uh if you you don't like the uh, so I next is Lemons Rally. Ooh, you can yes. have a night or can you see this? Yes. Oh, okay, yes. good. A ninety three. That, is, that this checks is, every Lemons Rally this, box. You this show is, up and you're already in the lead. This is down the street. It makes it to the starting line. Right. Yep. This is near uh, Matt's house. This it's is not far store. away. Uh yeah. it has it ran good and uh shift fine until oh head gas blew. Well, that's okay. We'll just put a head gas in no, no problem. A goal. I'll describe thank it as a thank 1993 you, you. Jaguar XJS convertible. It is gold with a brown top. Looks pretty straight and rust-free and clean. And this would be a four-liter six-cylinder. Not oh, the B12, look at this interior. Oh, those with those are crappy seat, seat covers. Yeah. Oh, those is that what is that is? Those I thought that was. Gotta oh, go. okay. Never mind. I thought it was. No, but, you sit I mean, on the crappy cracked leather before you that. <laughs> besmirch yeah. a Jaguar with that. This is what is known in the vernacular as a hand job Jaguar. Why is that? Oh, so, oh. To, so there's there's two movies. There's an uh, there's an old Christina Applegate film called Runaway, and then there was another one called um, uh, Crazy People with Dudley Moore, and where he is trying to be truthful in his advertising, and one of them literally is Jaguar XJ for men who want hand jobs from women they don't know. And that was the advertising campaign, <laughs> and it go. Of course, it just cracks off, and it was it's. Yes, that is. It's the hand job Jaguar. So I have. Okay, thank, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now she'll look at every one of those XJ rag tops. I go, don't care. I don't like them. So uh, here is another car for you in case you didn't like the X the uh, Jaguar to take on a Lemons Rally. It is a. It's a P thirty eight Range Rover. It's it two thousand is... Range Rover. I like that it says clean, no issues, and recently inspected, but yet I can see the air suspension is deflated. Um, you could drive this car daily. It says so in the ad, even says, though they can't spell it, leak correctly. Nope. Has a AC <laughs> free on the leak, leak, like the vegetable. <laughs> like the vegetable. <laughs> also, needs a brake booster for brakes, but part is included. <laughs> and, oh, and the exhaust, exhaust needs attention. Exhaust needs an attention. <laughs> oh, other than that, everything's good. Well, except the paint, except, paint is peeled in some spots. Yeah, exactly. But, and my favorite part, is stall available. <laughs> yep, stall, S-T-O-L. My favorite part is the can of Raid uh, insect <laughs> spray on the back, on the back bumper. As it is sitting I on mean, ramps. It is on sitting ramps. on drive-up ramps. I mean, Lemon's This poor rally. car. 
Oh, and so, this is, it's a lemons rally card, and you have to print every page of this ad and bring it with it. This yes. is, it's just, they're asking optimistically the sum of two thousand dollars for this fine machine. Correct. Put on it your biohazard suit though, before nice. you uh, before you clean that one. That one's and it is a two thousand, so it's the Bosch engine management system, not the Lucas one. So you know, that's good. That's fantastic. All right, of those of those, Chrissy, I think I take the Range Rover because it doesn't need head gasket yet. Yeah, but still, yes, it, yeah. it, it uh, yes, it sounds great. It does. All right, who's up? All right, I believe it is my turn, and it is. Uh, I've got everything open. It's just going to take me a handful of seconds here to get it all ready to go. So uh, we'll just start out real quickly. Something that fell by the wayside was drifting cars. Uh, Chrissy had hers. And so what I need to do here. All right. Why are you being so troublesome with the ad? All right. So for Chrissy, now, oddly enough, I ended up kind of getting the same thing, but for Chrissy, this is your drift car. Right, sixty nine hundred dollars, nice, but you get an LS SWAT three fifty Z. That is, and you're getting everything with this one. They've been drifting these for fifteen years. They went to BMW, so they're getting rid of all the stuff. So it's a straight chassis, which means by drifting standards, uh, all of it Formula Drift legal. It's got all of the go fast parts, the um, the the kits where they get the front tires even farther out of there fuel cell, all of the LSDs, there are literally a ton of spares that Chris wow. would be using oh, wow. to replace. I, I'm going to need all of them because I don't know. Oh, it's got a pink interior though. Yes. I'm, I'm not a drifter, so I would have to pick up said hobby um, to be a drifter. Right. But, but it's a, yeah, it's an LS swapped uh, 350Z. It's going to do it okay. organically. So it is fantastic. Okay. Yeah. And for how much? Sixty nine hundred dollars, oh, and you're getting there's no engine now. Spares, I believe. <laughs> yes. oh, no, okay. no, there's no engine. Comes uh, complete with spares, don't need an engine and transmission, but it's set up for LSs, and those are five hundred dollars at the junkyard. Okay, do my All own right. engine swap before I can drive my race car. Cool. Well, you just got to drop an LS easy. into what Wait. is already there. All right, Woodward. Now I did deliberately go completely outside of your comfort zone for this. Sounds one. great. Is it a but, Citroen? Yeah, probably, but I don't think you're going to hate it. And okay. let me get the, uh, I gotta won't a, hate it. talk about a, a way to sell it mental. I, I won't don't think hate you're it. Gonna hate All it. right. So I'm going to do this. We got to go with uh, the share so screen you were, again. You were joking about us being bad at sharing this here share screen okay so i thought it was better to kind of get them all what is yes this? right here this wow beautiful it's a it's the Woodward dream cruise 1977 lincoln continental oh look at that oh that is opulence i didn't realize it's... her uncle died and left her this <laughs> i didn't realize i know right? I didn't so realize. A, uh, folks at home, you were looking at a maroon 1977 Lincoln Continental. It is Coop. beautiful. Uh, and of course, all of these links are going to be in our in our show notes. Okay. 31,000 believed actual miles with a 460 that is probably making maybe 160 horsepower. Look at that <laughs> engine. All right. Not but it's very clean. Him. The interior yes. is, I mean, it's, it's, it is great. It's grandpa or house. Gr oh, it's, is it brown or red. It's kind that of is brown. It's brown. No, the interior. Is it's a brown. Sajeev mm. brown. Yes. Yeah, Sajeev would be, would be pleased with this. Yes. And I if you're worried about trunk space, you, you could put be. that Honda in this trunk. <laughs> yep. Lando roof. Uh huh. Mm. White wall, yes. white wall tires. A okay. lot of chrome. 15 inch white wall tires in a car that is the size of your Escalade. You I'm a not. two-door car that is Thank the link you? of your Escalade. The land aircraft Thank on you? the hood and trunk. Yes. Okay. So this if you're not cruising, what I would have picked, but okay. But if you're going to cruise, why not do it in style? Okay. On a sofa. On great. A, on an electric leather great. sofa. Yeah. All right. All right. So, do you have anything else? Well, I, I do. I have some other things. So be anyway, so that was the Woodward. We got the drift car um, for the Lemons Rally. 
Uh, you find me something with a freaking trunk? I'm going to have to well, get one of those baskets. On. Yes, but and you're not going to like that either. Oh, anyway, come so on. Sure. Why are uh, cars well, but it I does like? have it does have a trunk. All right. No, nope, that was uh, that's Chris. Lemons rallies have to involve some suffering. Come on. They they really, really I would do. like to oh, wear here she is. Here she a is. set of clothes that are other ones so than what I'm wearing. Right it's now. It is one interesting cast. that both of us chose very, very tiny cars. For your lemons <laughs> rally. Tiny cars. <laughs> but this oh, is a 1951 it's... Crosley Super, which is effectively wow. an English motorcycle powered oh. kit car. Yeah, it's so cute. I mean, you it's... think that the beat is tiny and slow. or the uh, well, <laughs> wow. the MG that we have in our driveway. How terrifying yeah. that is! Okay, yes. okay. In fact, there's a there's an episode <laughs> of the Grand Tour where <laughs> oh no, yeah, James uh, James May has a newer version of the Crosley, oh, but this thing, I am not taking that on a highway. No, you'll Would die. You... No. Exactly, yeah. it's a lemons rally. You don't go on the highway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at that, though. It Do you want me to it. die? <laughs> it's a great way to give Chrissy a nearly stroke. fast enough to I die. I don't want to die. <laughs> I don't want to die. Uh, now, the top, the top on this looks like even more of an after. It looks after like thought. a tent. <laughs> Yeah. It looks like a piece of <laughs> more like... of an afterthought than most British cars. But Crosley <laughs> yeah. is not British; it's actually American. Yes, no. uh, used a uh, British motorcycle engine. I believe yeah. that one has a four cylinder in it though okay that's a big yes. one which i put it in there that you would incidentally absolutely frigging win the uh sure. lemons rally you rock up at a crosley All if right. i made it out of the parking lot yes there's look yes. there's you gotta roll the dice sometimes now that i was cheated. a red crosley with a white top and a red interior mm -hmm. and that top was tragic I mean, okay that, and it's it looks it does look like it was built in a shed yes Yes. Speaking yeah. of being built in a shed. Uh oh, goodness. Here's your dirt track car. <laughs> okay. So what we uh, have already sponsored by Little Caesars. That's nice. Hell yeah. I love Little Caesars. <laughs> so looks like it, it hasn't is, moved uh, in a while. It uh, is, but it is yeah. le legal as a uh it's got a 22 hour motor, got a roll cage, everything's ready. And this is modified for a demolition derby, which oh. honestly feels tragic to me because this thing's probably got a couple more races in it. It's also sponsored by Parkview Middle School. Which, you know, what? that's Good. important because it okay. promotes education. $1,800 down okay. in Fort Mojave, Arizona, because I, yeah, I think Google defaulted to going to the nearest okay. to me vehicle for uh, the, yeah, uh, the, 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 the modified on that one. Now, Chris, I he am, walked away. He did. I know. And that, uh, Hello. I also found you. What, where'd that go? Damn it. I know. I've got too many windows open right now. Mm -hmm. I also found Chris a 350Z for drifting. Okay. Now, the slightly lower price. Mm. But not as pink. It's not just as a flat, flat, as flat black. This is flat yes. black His and hers. Well, it's correct. Z. Yeah, exactly. Yep, RPF1 wheels. And yep. it ran great until he hit a wall. Mm. Oh. Which. Which is probably why it's a bargain price. You can see he's got the front fender pulled off. But the reason grand. I picked this one for you is you'd totally have this fixed in a weekend. Nice looking cage. Spec Z. Yeah. Well, cage is looking less nice when I see the apron now, bars. You, but... you talk about things that are valuable. Whoops. All right. I was trying to make a, a point by increasing that one. You see that thing right there. The red that, box on the dash. What is that? Yeah. That's a wired in transponder. Those things why are Why is it on like, the dash? It's a grand. terrible place for it. How does it tell you what? what you yeah, that's supposed to be down, but that's or maybe be down that's by a turbo road. timer. Yeah, we uh, we found like four <laughs> of those things this weekend at uh, Jeff's shop. So all you have to do is straighten out those frame rails, you know. So somehow a, a cage Z that is maroon on the inside and black on the outside and has swayed to the left frame rail somehow this seems like a familiar story. You getting triggered? <laughs> I'm getting a little triggered. Oh no, uh... all right now, uh. Uh, I also, for your Woodward Drift car or your Woodward Dream Cruise, I picked the same car. I I, I thought you guys would really dig because it's... it's... The Crosley? Yes. No, the 77 Lincoln. Oh, the Lincoln. Okay. Sorry. Oh, okay. so can I show... I found myself a car. Bust it. Go for it. I... For what? what is it for? 
uh, Woodward. But she just wants it. Oh, going Describe back to your it. roots. This sort is of. a 1970 Volkswagen Beetle Volksrad sold for 12 grand with a amazing. It's a, a amazing paint job of silver chrome. I don't shiny. think that's silver. I think they clear coated over bare metal with some yeah. gold leaf. Yeah, kind of chop top, kind of. Yep, yep. It's definitely a lowered lowered beetle chop top, no front fenders. Right hand drive. Cadillac tail lights on the seat which is pillars. very Volks roddy. No real fender rear fenders either. Yeah, it, it's a Volks rod. Oil cooler. Okay. Thinking. Yeah. I dig this. Something out yeah. of the ordinary, the, right? The beam's been moved forward, way up forward from where its stock location yeah. is. The front axle beam. Oh, oh look those at seats those are going to be seats. incredibly comfortable. They're just <laughs> metal, <laughs> metal I low back seats. Far. Well, and it's in oh, uh, it's no. in Texas. There's no it's way be you're nice burning and quiet. yourself on that. Right? It's be nice and <laughs> quiet and cold and comfortable and cold yep. <laughs> until okay. the summer. Then you burn yourself. All right, fine. So this is not. A I like it. I like okay, the fine. outside of it. No, I'm down. That makes sense. Okay. Makes, well, I'm totally. Down. I don't know. I just passed by it and was like, oh, all right. So, again, trying to expand everyone's horizons. Chris, this is your Lemons Rally vehicle. Uh oh. <laughs> this is a 1942 okay. Ford pickup Army radio vehicle. Yes, it is. Look at that. So, okay. there is probably a 90% chance you will finish the rally on that one. But you will have to leave an hour before everyone, and you will have to still get there two hours after everyone because your top speed is probably 40 miles an hour. And even then, the braking is probably, you know, yep, just designed it's to be all all OD green. It's got a nice jerry can there on the running board. Yeah. It's, uh, What's the percentage of death on this? Six six cylinder flathead engine. Manual None, unless you're standing in front of it because it is going through whatever <laughs> it hits. Slowly. But no, <laughs> very slowly. Hey, it's some racing junk, and they have the pro membership because yeah. there are a so bunch of pictures. Everything. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, you, 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 yeah. Oh, you best bring earplugs and patience. <laughs> I'm not going with you on that that trip. Oh my gosh, that's the that's the seat. Oh no, well, we can race between the Crosley and this, <laughs> and it would be pretty close. <laughs> You will run over the other, the, the Crosley with this. See, and this would be a good support vehicle for the Crosley because you wouldn't get bored. You would actually have to work to keep up with it. So <laughs> there's a cat. There's a All you right. Can see the video. So, yes. Hello. Hello, uh, Hi, Senna. Senna. All right. Uh, and, and, Finally, uh, the dirt modified on this one, Chris. I found you a, a lovely dirt modified vehicle. Some assembly required. Oh no! But it's because I believe in your abilities. So keep giving me broken cars. Oh, what? There's nothing in it. So this is a uh, boom. Uh, it's a it's a it's a Ford F and Ranger. Yes, that is a like a stadium truck. Exactly. All yo, know, no windows. You just get chicken wire. Oh, that's always so. Goes <laughs> I mean, there. Uh, oh, it has been rolled. Yeah, this times. is not great. Mm. I don't love this car. It's got you know these big remote reservoir Fox shocks yes. for long oh. travel, but oh. it's definitely been over a few times. So it's a it's thing. a pre runner, podium yep. finisher, manual, and uh, needs a little TLC to make race ready. <laughs> yeah, you think. <laughs> How about start over? You'll you'll notice the uh the intake for the engine is inside the cab. Yep. Because that's it's what you sound do. Sound good. That hey, yeah. that's what BMW does now. They pipe that intake sound right into the, the cab. Oh, so you get it. See, and this is analog version of that. So uh -huh. it's fantastic. Yeah. But uh yeah, vehicles paid off. Good thing. Okay. Because <laughs> you rolled it has no windows. <laughs> Only oh. three more payments to go. I and picked two. Oh man! I have picked yeah. two more cars for myself. If you, they're like super right. quick. And uh, and and I'm I'm down with that too. I'm gonna share this guy real quick. This is the one I picked for myself, inspired by something I recently saw in uh, the uh, Driven Garage, 1964. This is my Woodward dream car. I would restore the wood paneling. 64 Ford Galaxy wagon. 
Look, yeah. th- those it's tail red. lights are so jet aged. It's, it, those it's are like the, country the same squire. ones they have on the Falcon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Country Squire, wood paneling, red otherwise, bell, that, all that chrome. This one's got patina, but the interior, the red vinyl interior with white piping is yes. definitely nice. I like that big chrome and wood roof rack. Mm-hmm. The chrome strip along the dash. Yeah. yeah. You're it looks nice respect, from afar yeah. away. Well, and I, would a... res- I would leave the patina and the paint, but I would restore just the wood yeah. because I don't know. I, I, I like I feel that like look. it needs a surfboard and a cooler on the roof. Hell yeah, it does. Totally needs a surfboard and a cooler. That's dope as all things. And finally, uh, uh, just something for uh, myself for a lemons rally. And I'm not saying this won't happen, actually, because the price is kind of right. Oh, no. You need more projects. I need more projects, but here we go. 1988 Lincoln (laughs) Stretch Limo for a mere $1,800. It has got 272,000 miles, and the Lando roof is what we would call It used to be a Lando roof. Yes, uh, right. and there's nothing suspension. on the inside we got do we have pictures of the inside you know what there it is cut chega there's the bar everything oh, you need it's a black l-shaped sofa oh, the yeah. interior looks less never put a black light on this it's fine no no, no. <laughs> it's fine <laughs> no one no has ever hung out of that sunroof ever <laughs> that massive and sunroof. maybe yep. sober <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Oh, this is disgusting. Those are some, it's got like some 20 inch wheels on it that oh, I don't low like profile it. 20s. Yo, I don't like it. it. I like it. Starts clean, and drives. Clean title. Still looking for it, but I can sign a bill of sale for now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's done. That's legit. Yep. I mean, look at that digital <laughs> dash though. That's pretty awesome. It's got like yes. these numbers that are flashing. Oh, yeah. that's terrifying. That's when you get syphilis by looking at it. Gonna surf a hippolytus. Uh, yeah. I like when just yeah. standing close to it. <laughs> are you are you are you done? I am done. That is all I have me. I found two more. These are cars for me. I found a 1999 Renault Clio V6 trophy race car. Actually, it showed up on my feed today Ooh, in my email. Wow. It's yeah. French. It's it's mid-engine French V6 hatchback. And it's super cute. So I it's, thought it's this was probably green a with red rocket accents. ship, too. I thought it would be fun. Yeah. Oh, it's it's the same as the Renault 5 turbo. Okay. Well, those, so that's those a... were those were a four-cylinder turbo in the back. This but the same concept is they take a tiny mm-hmm. little Renault hatchback, stick a hot yeah. motor in the back. And we're gonna cram every up. French horse we can into the hatchback of this tiny little the cheval. Okay. Du cheval. So I also found this <laughs> two thousand. It looks like a shoe. It looks I was like, I wrote in my in the notes, what is this even? Like it looks like so a shoe. It is is a two thousand um, Corbin Sparrow E V. Yes, these were designed to be city commuter cars because they seat one. Yeah. They're and it's super, in Michigan. Wow. It's so cute. It's yes, three wheels. It's got these dimples that are like a a, a golf ball on like some parts of it. Oh wow. If I saw this roll by, I'd be cr- like what Those is are even Corvette happening? tail lights, and yeah. it's got a pizza butt trunk. So it means you can put stuff in it. This is okay. exactly what you need Sounds to run down narrow. to the pizza place. Uh, yes, from your house. Look, there's it's it's room for one. If somebody <laughs> hits you, you anyone would die. that has this won't have any friends. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things you find on the internet. That was super awesome. That is thanks so for awesome. playing along, friends. Oh, this has been fantastic. We will absolutely have a link to all of these in our show notes. So do some joy scrolling yourself next time you're sitting on the John. Click on our show notes and go through and look at all these silly, silly cars because well, that was a ton of fun. And well, now we got to pick your favorites. Like mental of all the ones we thought we we thought would be good for you. What's your favorite? Oh, I'm taking that El Camino all day. I mean, nope. good, you know what? Good no, find. No, no, I'm taking the AMG. No, nope. I'm taking the I'm taking the AMG, the 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 red pig. You know, got to be true to myself. Tough choice. Mm. Tough choice. It is a t- it is a tough choice. But uh, yeah, the, yeah, the red pig, and like you know, the El Camino. They're like, oh, there's that redneck from up the street. The red pig goes, oh, there's mental. 
because everyone's <laughs> going to come talk to you with the red pig. What I'm is gonna, this? I'm taking the beach car because that's amazing. I wish I had somewhere to drive it. I think it's awesome. And you, Chris? I don't know. So I'm, I'm just looking at what my options are. Crash <laughs> Z. Um, the Jag. Uh, the Lincoln. The Jag with the blown hat gasket. The Range Rover with the insect infestation. <laughs> like you guys, I'm, I'm not letting you buy stuff for me. I'm, just, I'm, <laughs> I'm picking one of those Mercedes that I, bought, I picked up for my buy my own Mercedes. That's no, right. no, that's no good. Get I your think... six three, and then we'll race it against my six three. Well, and I'll race it in my Corbin and try to <laughs> say yep. you like the Corbin, but you don't like the Honda Beat. No, I don't like either. Why do you think I like tiny cars? They're easy. Not Honda Beat. There was Although a, I did, um, I, I did a, show uh, you a shoe, yeah. so there's a that. Failed. <laughs> uh, a, it was a it was a failed JDM import business up the street here, and they had a bunch of uh, Suzuki Cappuccinos and Honda Beats. And I still see the Beats. They're going from auction to auction to auction because they end up on various uh, uh, buy here pay here style car lots. And I see the same one, and it's it's in the five grand range. And if I wasn't trying to purge myself of things, that would definitely be an option. I like those Honda. So you need another really fun. small convertible. Totally. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the only kind of car I should, I should ever be allowed to own. That's how I stay out of trouble. Put me in a big car, get another speeding ticket. <laughs> yep. All right. This uh, is awesome. Um, Chrissy? Yes. Any anything in their next segment from you this week? No, we just picked out our favorite ones. That's it. No, no. Uh, for the, I had one on an old show notes that I sent in, but it was a, a Facebook thing about using your gas cans that you use at the track to store gasoline and why this is a terrible idea. Why, Mitchell? Tell us. Because those. All right. Gas- this is just the tip. Yeah. Just the tips. Okay. Good. So it was a, it was a Facebook post. It's it's several weeks old now, but you cannot use your racetrack gas cans to store gasoline. That's not what they're meant to do. So as gasoline expands and contracts, those Hunsuckers that you paid a lot of money for, or the, uh, the other fueling jugs that you use, they will crack because they are meant as transfer cans. So do not use your racetrack cans to store gasoline. If you're going to store gasoline, you should be using ideally an aluminum or metal jerry can style thing that can take the kind of expansion and contraction that gasoline does, but nothing with, especially with a seamed plastic. And if you've got some older Hunsuckers or those older, um, what's the, uh, the other design this it's, it's, a little bit narrower and taller the red uh, cans. Yeah. Uh, you, you shouldn't be using those for exactly those reasons. The plastics also deteriorate in the sun and you're just asking for trouble. And the person mentioned that they noticed the smell of gasoline in their house because they have an attached garage and they ended up having to call the fire department because the cans basically put, you know, a quarter of an inch of gas in the entire bottom layer of their garage underneath their house. So they had to use a ton of, you know, oil dry and everything to get it all up. And God knows what that's doing to every other surface that it touched in your garage. So, and it's, it's not something that comes up often because as one of the commenters, I believe it was Florida man, Donnie says, if you have a gasoline powered tow vehicle, how are you ever leaving the track with gasoline still in your gas cans? And I do know that we do that. We walk around and go like, all right, who's got a rental? Who's got something? So that is the proper way to dispose of old gas. Or if you have a ton of it because your car blew up on test day or whatever, you are not going to have a problem selling it to another race team. But do not use this for long-term storage. It's a bad idea. You're inviting trouble. And we genuinely and sincerely do not want anyone listening to the show or friends of anyone listening to the show burning their house down. Or just have yeah. to clean that up. Or how yeah. It up. How? What a mess. Yeah. Good one. Good. Thank you for Thanks, that. Michael. And I, I'm sorry that it did not make the, like the the three different iterations of our show notes. I had every intention of linking it to that one, but uh, got got behind on that one. Um, and I I don't know if we have an idea, but um, sort of a not humble brag. I've been invited to take the number two car of one of the teams that is running the WRL at mid Ohio, the first weekend in April. 
So I am, I am returning to WRL for the first Ooh. time in probably 10 years. Actually, it is. It's 10 years since I ran a WRL race and they have gone way up market. I am beyond intimidated because I'm going to be running with people like Sarah Montgomery in a friggin' Audi R8 race car. And I'm going to be running an E46 BMW. Uh, and this, the team, the Palomar Solar, they have taken several podiums. So I am way out of Ow. my element. Way, okay. I am way out of my element, but for every reason that it is scaring me is absolutely a reason that you take the damn seat. So we might do a, if, if we don't come with anything else, we might do a mid Ohio preview show. Interesting. Okay. Well, so you're going from middle. Are you just going to stay in Ohio? You go right to Pittsburgh. Yes. You're already there. You're like, like <laughs> not far at all. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. it right. is like that it really is like three hours. You make a compelling argument and I might show up at your house a few days early and just hit your ride. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty yeah. close. We can find you. Know, All we right. can find you someplace in Pittsburgh. This is Let's yeah, go. this is not terrible. Okay. Well, Great. Anything, anything else? No. Happy to be well, back though. It was nice seeing you. I got we I got I got to watch the F1 race with our, our buddy Tim Burr and Jeff Gates over there and uh it was uh Jeff was mentioning that uh he actually was going to do very well after this last race. If you haven't, if you haven't watched the last F1 race, it's Thursday. You totally should have by now. So ha ha. Uh, the Red Bull cars didn't do very well. Max Verstappen was out. Nothing for Mercedes finished and it threw everything. I was crushing our fantasy league. I was in number two and now I am screwed. And if you want to watch how far I've fallen, you should join our F1 Fantasy League. It is at fantasygp.com and use the code 74259541. And that'll take you to the Everyone Racers League. Yep. Cool. Thanks for downloading us. Hope you enjoyed this week's edition of Everyone Racers. Hope you'll join us in the world of driving, racing, online shopping, and building because everyone can be a racer, even you. If you enjoyed the podcast, subscribe. It's free. Go to iTunes. Give us that five-star gold. Even if you hated us, five stars and tell us why. Questions, show ideas, comments, thoughts, emotional outbursts. Drop us a comment somewhere. Everyone racers, everyone.racers at gmail.com. We're on all the social things. You'll find us. You can still text mental, 484-243-0455. He wants to see pictures of your junk. Find us on Instagram, everyone.com, all YouTube, everyone racers, all those places. So anyway, thanks again. Until next time, keep shopping online for ridiculous things. And, you know, there probably won't be any shiny bits on the ones you're going to like, but that's okay. Just don't set it on fire. <laughs>